Hi everybody, this is Randy Hale. I'm a watercolor tutor for the water mill and I'm going to bring you a few tips on good painting techniques. So these will be uh, handy little things to keep in mind when you're painting and uh, hopefully you'll find them useful. Um, a lot of times people will draw with their brush and they'll have outlines around it, but we want to take shapes and create them with value. So there's three things that I like to, to talk about in my Randy's Rules of Three is about shapes is always have one large shape, a few medium shapes, and then a lot of little smaller supporting shapes. That one large shape is your dominant shape, and that really sets the, the tone for the rest of the painting. The second thing we always want to think about is varying the shape sizes, proportions, and edge treatments. You've always got to have variety in everything you do. And then the third thing of my third rule that I have is always try to lose some edges, smudge or soften or give some of your edges a more natural feel rather than having a hard, distinct, focused line or edge all the way around your shape. If we have any uninterrupted edge in a painting, that it's always the first thing we notice. We go to that immediately. So the way we see things is we, we notice glare, we notice shadows, those things break up shapes and it feels very natural to us. So as painters, if we can vary our, our edges, vary our shapes, lose a few edges, um, it's going to feel much more natural and it'll be um, a much more successful painting. Uh, I've got two examples here. The one on the left, we have a very large barn back here, big negative shape on the roof. But then there's a lot of, of vertical shapes. There's a lot of angled shapes, oblique shapes, negative and positive shapes. Many of the areas away from my center of interest have a very smoothed out, uh, softened edges that just kind of pulls us into the painting without any hard edges. The painting on the right, one very dominant shape of the barn with a lot of smaller uh, supporting sheds that are different size shapes, different scale, different proportions. We've got some strong light coming through the middle that intersects with some uh, vertical oblique angles. But even within these long vertical shapes, we have positive, we have negative, we go back to positive, we lose some of the edges, some of them get softened. So those are examples of how we can vary our shapes in our paintings and always be conscious of having some large, medium and small shapes, having uh, our shape sizes, proportions and edges varied, and then always work on losing our edges. So we smudge or soften a few in, in places to make shapes feel more natural the way the human eye sees things. So good things to think about when you're painting. Um, it's easy to get into the rhythm of painting and not think about these things. So I always try to file them away in the back of my mind and, and pull them up as I'm painting so that I am conscious of making these three uh, simple rules about shapes apply to whatever I'm painting. So happy painting, guys. Keep those brushes flowing.